Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello, everyone. How are you, sister? Happy. Hello. Can you, can you hear me? Can you hear yes. me? Yes. Yes. I can hear. I can hear you. Teacher, are you sick? I just had a plastic. Yeah, I just had a plastic surgery. So I cannot show my face. <laughs> you know, plastic surgery? Yeah, right. Now, allergy. I mean, allergy. Plastic, plastic surgery. This is when you are not happy with your facial features, then you go to change. Like you change your uh, nose. Uh, I know, I know. Okay. So, this is plastic surgery. So, I just had a surgery. surgery. Plastic. Yeah, I write that for everyone. You will have a new face. Yeah, that's why I cannot show my face tonight. Plastic. Plastic surgery. Yeah, plastic surgery. Like you like to change. Surgery. Yeah, you have a surgery to change, to make you more beautiful. So mm -hmm. I just had a plastic <laughs> surgery. <laughs> That's why. Ginny, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Maybe you are scared the other person see your beautiful face. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. No, just kidding. I had um, the really bad allergy. Oh. You know, allergy. I'm allergic to oh. something. So yeah. my body, yeah, my face became red, like swallow, like red, yeah. So uh -huh. I'm recovering. I'm recovering, but still not beautiful. <laughs> Maybe beautiful in tomorrow, please. <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. Okay, yeah. so all oh, the plateau students miss here. Miss you, miss you. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. Jenny is my little baby. <laughs> yeah. So, happy study. Oh, me study last year. Happy this year. Happy summer. And then yeah. Jenny, just a month ago. Yeah. So all mm -hmm. the plateau students here. Yeah. yeah. Jenny just left like two weeks ago, right, Jenny? Wow. <laughs> yes, that's right. And um, until now, I uh, returned to Jimmy City two weeks, two mm -hmm. weeks already. Yeah. Mm. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, <laughs> hello Jenny. Uh, maybe let me uh, change my name. Mm -hmm. My God. Monday is super crowded today. My God, overcrowded today. People yeah. everywhere. Yeah, people everywhere. My God, uh, they go to hunt. They go to uh, see the cherry blossoms. What's, what's um, up? With you? What happened with you, Miss Messi? <laughs> Talk again. I had a blessing. <laughs> I had a plastic surgery, you know? I changed my beautiful face to <laughs> gorgeous face. I want to be more beautiful. So, um, yeah, I went to get the plastic surgery. So to, tomorrow you will see my nose is high. My wow. face is slim. I became really? another person. 
Yeah, <laughs> that's why I cannot show it now. Are you are you choking? No. <laughs> Don't you see my eye? My eyes are bigger. Yeah. I have, I have yes. bigger eyes now. Uh, yes, I believe that. Hope to see you in the new version. Yeah, I'm <laughs> ready for new year. Okay. <laughs> Willow, are you there, Willow? I cannot see you, Willow. Okay, guys, so while waiting for Willow, I would like to introduce something about Willow. By coincidence, I met Willow in Saigon, but she's actually from my hometown, the same hometown. Yeah, Puing, yeah, also from the city. So uh, Willow is my friend's friend. When I was in Saigon, I had a small school at home. Uh, Willow supported me. Willow taught some of my classes. And also, she is the MC. She's a professional MC mm -hmm. of, a, yeah, of a TV station. Yeah. Uh, Willow is also the MC of a project that I had before. It's called um home talk <laughs> still remember willow yes i remember a pk yeah. hey guys yeah. I, I had some problem with my uh my book so. is the voice okay yes clearly now very clearly no problem And now, so how many Willow people we have? Fashion today? designer. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. It's just my hobby. <laughs> um, I believe that there are 10 registered, but we are not sure because sometimes they registered and are busy. It didn't show up. So we just start. Yeah, we should get to know each other and we can start now. Yes. So we all have ladies here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all the time, oh, you know. Just <laughs> ladies. Sexy oh, ladies. Maybe. Yeah, the ladies, they ring uh, happy together without men, <laughs> without. Okay. Yes, only, only lady bring happy together. <laughs> yes. A knife for girl. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, so you would like Willow to share in English or in Vietnamese? Mm. We permission. We permission. We allow to share by Vietnamese? Yeah, because sometimes <laughs> we, are, we, we have uh, beginners, you know, sometimes we have beginners here. But today I see that happy uh, Jolie, Jenny, Mia, no beginners, no beginners here. But maybe later. Oh, wait, mm. Yes, if we feel that is the uh, it difficult to understand, we can change in Vietnamese <laughs> because. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, English first, and uh, if anyone cannot understand, yes. we can change or maybe explain. Yes. Mont Montilingual. Yeah, I miss English. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm missing it. But normally you have multilingual in English, right? It's normally, normally speaking English in every B class. It depends on the, the, the workshop, you know? If okay. it's about um, uh, idioms or slang, of course it's in English because we practice the language. But here we share uh, the method, you know, the way to acquire something. So sometimes if it's in English, maybe it's too difficult for you to acquire. So 
Uh, I think everyone here is, is intermediate and above. It's okay to speak English. And when it comes to something that complicated, maybe we can switch to Vietnamese. Flexible. <laughs> yes. Okay for you, Willow. Yes. Yeah. Intermediate too, because I I told me is uh Tao. Yes, Miss Messi, right? She's Miss Messi. Yeah, yeah Miss Messi. I told her before that I'm working on oh, studying just Korean. Just so Don't worry about me. Now. Okay. What's up? Yes. So if you guys have some problem with listening to my English, just tell me. The long time I haven't used English in speaking. So. Because she's learning Korean right now. That's why. <laughs> but the, uh, her voice, her voice very easy to uh, listen uh, to hear. That's that's in, that's good. I don't have any yes, trouble. You too. <laughs> yes, I don't have any trouble about your voice. Willow has a really beautiful voice because she's a professional MC, so yeah. she is gifted. Beautiful voice, even in Vietnamese. Beautiful voice. No, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You are you yeah, are I, in Korea again. You are you in Korea? No, no. Of course, I'm in Vietnam now. <laughs> I'm in Ho Chi Minh City, but I like Korea, and um, that's it. Kinda, I have interest in learning Korean. Yes, I got um, it. I'm just working on it. That's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So all the beautiful ladies here uh, again. <laughs> Hi, happy, happy. Who is happy? <laughs> happy. You're happy with the red background, right? Yes. Yeah. When not uh, remind happy and happy land? Why? <laughs> and Mia, yes. she doesn't show her face, right? Yeah. Yes, I eat not yet, so I need time to eat. Sorry. Oh, okay, don't worry. Mia, happy Jenny and Gao Wei. Yes, Jolie, I will change my name now. Oh, but it's Highness, like Princess, right? <laughs> Gao Wei. <laughs> Precious. Thank you. So, this workshop is meant for happy because happy she forces me you know <laughs> she asked me to teach her show her how to have american accent but i didn't practice i never practiced accent so i didn't know how to show seriously i didn't sit down and practice i just travel i had an american husband i have a lot of foreign boyfriends this is the only and lots of foreign friends. Yes, only the, one. Yes, only one was practice and practice. <laughs> yeah, I never sit down and I never uh, really follow any method. So I had no idea. So I was thinking, thinking, who can help? Who can show the way? And it came to my mind, oh, Willow. Yeah, I remember again, Re Willow did do it. She practiced by herself before and then she went to the Philippines to learn uh, to take the American accent course. Yeah, so this is the perfect instructor for happy. And um, I'm really happy, honored to have Willow here to show you guys how her road, okay? Hopefully it works for you. And you can, if you have any queries, any questions, concerns, maybe Willow can show you the way that she uh, concurred uh, the accent. Okay, thank you again, Willow. Yes, welcome. Yeah, thank you. Actually, I don't have many methods. Just, I really thank, thank God because it's like naturally, when, because I like watching movies, especially American movies through Disney Channel when I was a child. So I just, uh, <laughs> at that time I was acting like uh, characters in American movies.
movies. So uh, my voice uh, naturally changed to American accent, I think so. And then when I went to Philippines, luckily I passed the AAP test is American accent training. And I met a Philippines teacher. She is Philippines, but she has a beautiful American accent. And she taught me, actually we didn't talk a lot. We sang together because it's were easy for me and for our class to study English. Like if you just study, 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 just only study was so hard as sometimes it was boring. So she offered us, offered us to sing like an um, English song in American accent. So that's how we worked on um, practicing American accent. Can you guys get it? Yes, yeah, it is. I understand, yes. How many hours for, you know, can you practice uh, every day? How many hours? Uh, when I was in Philippines in class, just I, on, I only had about 40, 40, 40 minutes for every classes. But, but uh, after that, I watch more um, um, American movies, American movie. Uh, I don't really like Vietnamese movie. That's the reason why I don't really affected by Vietnamese accent in English. Do you like watching foreign movie? Like American movie? Mm. Yeah. Yes, I like it. Yeah, I think that's the best way to learn English because the more you listen, the more you have good way to practice in your English. Yeah. Um, for me, um, the accent uh, for everyone is very important. And uh, the people who out, I, I have the big dream. I want to out the beautiful voice, the luxury voice. Yes. So, um, uh, but for me, um, I'm practice uh, only by practicing with the foreigner, the foreigner, the yes, um, yes the, the 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 when I turn to the community for practicing like this. Yes. Um, and uh, with the um, the movie, I can't. Because I feel uh, because in movie there are the the words or the item or the phrases, uh, it's the uh, very difficult to observe. Oh, uh, it's not uh, in reality. Yes, and I feel uh, I feel a little um, uncomfortable when I don't understand what it means. Mm. Because uh, this is not the basic meaning. I mean, this don't have the basic meaning at all. It have uh, a lot of meaning in the in the movie and the slang too much. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and that is the my limits. That's in my limits, and I um, I know a lot of people broaden their uh, vocabularies or they can uh, upgrade their level by listening movie by listening the song, but for me that's not suitable. <laughs> That's not suitable methods. Okay, so it's about uh, your vocabulary. Like if you work in international environment, you need more um, uh, work-oriented work vocabulary. Mm, so it's not too important for you to practice English only with foreigner. Because you know some foreigners they don't they don't really have American accent. They have some uh, difficult accent to listen to. Mm, for me, I listened to music. Yes, watching me, and sometimes I write. 
try something in English and then I just English. Yes. You have a problem you, with you, you have problem with your right. sorry, Heather, but excuse me. You have problem with your connection. Mine? Yes. Better? Yeah, better than. Better. Yes. <laughs> I come inside my room. Do you usually write something in English? Like when you update some caption on your Facebook? or on your social media you do you use your thinking in english uh sometimes sometimes but i'm not confident in writing because uh for a long time i'm not writing only speaking and speaking and i'm i'm afraid i'm has mistake in the, the in writing in writing yes <laughs> And Don't worry, it, I'm yes. only, for me, before I update, update some uh, caption on my Facebook, of course, when I write in English, I need to check on Google yes. Translation, yes. of course, <laughs> sometime on Google Translation, or uh, sometime even I check, I looked up in dictionary before I finish before I finished my writing. Mm. And after I finished my writing, of course, you can read some, sentence, some sentences in English and then you read it out loud. You can read it in front of the mirror. Mm. But for me, the best time I read English a lot, that's when I take a shower. <laughs> yeah. When I take a shower, Shower, I look into the mirror and I talk to myself in English. Yeah. I, I can imagine the situation when I meet someone. Yes. And I need to speak in English. Yeah. Or I remember sentences I wrote before and then I read it out loud. Yeah. Yes. For the person to me. Yes, listen to me. I usually, uh, I usually use English when I do something, example, on the way to my office or on the way take my, pick up my daughter from, uh, from her school. And uh, yeah. anytime I have a free time, any anytime I have a free time, I um, make the story. Even even when I even I can make up the story, and I tell by myself. I yeah. tell my myself in my emergency. Yes, and I think that's um, I think that's um, the the good way. That's the suitable, the good way for us to uh, to practice by ourselves. Yes, yeah. and lift lifts our um, the confidence, the confidence day by day, and we uh. uh uh, this is a chance. This is the opportunity for us to uh, practice my my mind, practice my my brain to have uh, the chance to think more. To think more, if we have the free time, don't have don't uh, keep the the time pathway wait up time. So, <clears throat> how about the order? Do you have? Do you use Libratic English in your normal life? Uh, because it's uh, depend on the environment around me. Uh, that's the uh, not uh, comfortable to talk with the each uh, with another. If the we if I don't have the cooperation from them from them, so I have to, uh, I have to whisper by myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
How about Jenny? Jenny Jolie? Yeah. Is Jolie is someone new? Is Jolie or Jolie? Jolie um, is Jolie? Yes, I'm, I'm not, I'm not new. I'm not oh, a lot of people. Because I remember I saw. Yes, this is maybe this is the first time I saw you. But uh, this is, uh, but now this is not the first time for uh, my available. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so it means uh, happy, happy and Jenny. What about you guys? Do you use English in everyday uh, basic? Maybe mm. happy first. Uh, I uh, I can I cannot uh, um, uh, speak a long sentences. I understand uh, what you say, so um, I I'm practice. Uh, I practice a long sentences. I want to use it. Yes, I will keep sharing your uh, English practice. Mm, I I'm uh, every day I I speak English uh, with my friends from uh, uh, American. Uh, I understand him. So now I want to. Um, I don't know uh, the way. Um, uh, I mean, long sentences. I can uh, not. Um, uh, I cannot speak long more. Okay, just start with the short sentence. Yes. Um. I I understand you. I understand. Uh, I understand you. What you say. So. <laughs> If it's too understand. difficult, mm -hmm. uh, happy. If it's too difficult, you can express it in Vietnamese. Yeah. Ừ. Ý, ý của mình là mình đang luyện. Bây giờ mình mình đang nói được những câu ngắn thôi. Mọi người nói câu dài mình đều hiểu hết. Thế nhưng mà cái cầm mình đang nói được câu ngắn, còn những câu dài để diễn tả lại một cái hành trình ấy thì mình lại đang 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 luyện cái cái, cái quá trình đấy. Thì hiện tại mình đang luyện shadowing là giấy hàng ngày mình có nói chuyện với một bạn người bạn Mỹ với cả buổi tối thì thường thường mình hay học cùng các con ấy, thì đấy cũng là một cái thời gian để luyện tập à, thì mình đang muốn hỏi thêm cái cách mọi người luyện tập như thế nào để có thể là nói được những cái diễn đạt được ý dài hơn như như mà uh, Jolie hay là cả uh, um, Jenny ấy, nói hoặc là đấy, mọi người đang nói chuyện rất là tự rất là tự nhiên như thế Actually, when you speak, you don't need to focus on too much on grammar. Just uh, like the short sentence, then short sentence, then short sentence, and it becomes the long sentence. The long sentence. Just try to express yourself in one sentence first, and then. You come to your second thought and you read it out loud and it becomes the second sentence and just keep working on it and it will become a long sentence or long conversation. It will be okay. But I, I mean, you need to try it from now. Just express your thought so now at this time, what you think in your mind, just read it. Okay. Yes. For example, when you say that you understand the long sentence, but you can't uh, speak in a long sentence, just the first sentence, I can't speak long sentence. Uh, the next sentence is, I practice every day with my friends, with your children, every day, 
and then I wish to speak English in long sentence, like Jenny, like Julie, like everyone else. It becomes the long conversation. Yes, I understand. One by one. Yeah. Don't worry, we have time, so don't worry to, don't need to speak uh, rapidly or fast, just take it slow. Mm. Okay? Yes, okay, I'm listening. Baby Jenny, your turn. Uh, yes. Um, the the first step I uh, I like English and I uh, speak English with um my my favorite. Yeah. Um, I learn by heart and just listen and repeat a lot of times, many times. Uh, I ignore what's the meaning. I don't care what's the meaning when I practice. I just listen first and repeat, repeat, and learn my heart. And, uh, the sentence uh, coming my uh, memory and uh, sometimes uh, when suddenly what happens suddenly what happens I can speak English uh, without thinking. Uh, this is the first step I uh, learned. I study speaking English. Uh, and but after uh, first I uh, I remember and I just recall the uh, short sentence and after that I uh, I, I can remember and know many uh, know more vocabulary in my mind and I have I can talk uh, long sentence after that uh, but after a while don't speak English. Uh, practice English that I lost and I forgot uh, almost my story or sometime like um, something like this. This is the reason uh, I need to how to learn again or maybe find a new way to uh, practice or uh, study speaking English because right now I just uh, combine vocabulary, combine words or something like this to explain my uh, explain what I think and explain what I want to say to all of you like this. Yeah, it's my appearance when I uh, study English before. <laughs> I don't care grammar because my grammar is very bad. Yeah, uh, when I uh, study when I study in a uh, uh, grammar school uh, university, I just got enough to pass the English. Check uh, five point five. Uh, high is I have um, six, six or five point to get the uh, um, how how can you say to graduate uh, enough enough the point uh, uh, Hello. Sorry, guys. I just have something, some problem with my connection. Yes. Oh, yes, Warong. Hello, everyone. Yes. Okay, so because I'm um, the teachers, uh, both of them, Jenny and Happy, so I know they are opposite. So Jenny, she speaks a lot. You cannot stop her. She's the speaking machine. Okay. Because she doesn't care about anything, whatever in her mind, she put 
vocabulary. She connects the vocabulary. All the words she has, like the keywords she has in mind, she just flow it out, right? Throw it out of her mind. That's it. She doesn't care about grammar, about um, the formation, also the um, pronunciation either. She doesn't care. She's a carefree girl. Yeah. <laughs> um, <gasps> while happy, happy is a very happy is a very uh, careful person. Uh, maybe she follow perfectism. You know, you need to be perfect. You are afraid. You are afraid too much. Mm -hmm. You want to be perfect because of your profession as well. Because your expectation, your profession, mm -hmm. and you look at others. You look at me. You look at Willow. You look at others, and you want to speak like them. You want to copy them. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So it's nice. It's nice to be perfect. But it, does, it shouldn't be the obsession, you know? You shouldn't be obsessed all the time thinking to be perfect. Yeah, so the combination between you and Jenny is the secret. Like Jenny, I advise Jenny now to study pronunciation with how again. Because she has everything. She has the confidence. She has uh, the fluency. The only thing she needs is the accuracy. Yeah. But accuracy can come later, you know? It can come later. You need to feel free with the language first. You enjoy it first. You don't you don't compare yourself with anyone. So happy as as you speak, we understand you. We all understand what you mean. It doesn't matter. Like Willow say, it doesn't matter that it's long sentence. We don't care. We don't care if it's long sentence. Is it? It's a professional vocabulary. We don't care. The only thing we care is we understand you. That's it. Okay, so don't be obsessed yes. with perfectism. You will be perfect maybe in a year or two years, but you need to enjoy it. You need to relax, enjoy. Yeah, and you will get there. I never, I never, I never think I would, I never evaluate myself that I have American accent and I don't care because all of my foreign friends they understand me. That's it. And then my students, they said, Oh, teacher, you have beautiful accent. Uh, I don't think you are Vietnamese. I th I was like, oh, really? So it came, you know, it came. Uh, this is the, um, the finish line, right? It shouldn't be from the beginning. You shouldn't put the target. I need to, I need to reach that. Yeah, it's, it's nice to have a target, but it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be the burden, like make you obsessed and thinking, thinking about that. Yeah, it's nice to know, to hear other experiences, uh, but it doesn't mean that you need to follow them. Um, if you enjoy, if right now you enjoy shadowing, that's good, that's good. And then yes. I, think, <laughs> I think in a year or two, you will speak fluently and speak like a native speaker because you have the determination. You are very determined. Um, you want, you are curious and you, uh, persistent you know you you never stop you know you never give up trying and practicing yeah so yes. um, for Jenny I advise her to study pronunciation like IPA again and then also change intonation uh, accent a little bit um, to make it less Vietnamese you know that's it yeah but doesn't need to have American accent or uh, Mm, uh, like luxury accent unless <laughs> unless, unless you <laughs> unless really, really you really are dreaming about it then it's okay but this is just for communication one day it will come one day yeah, yeah. in a year two years three years it will be there yeah, yeah. so willow do you want to add anything uh actually <laughs> I understand happy because I am kind of same person as her. I follow perfectionism. Yes, I can say that I have an illness like OCD, you know, that I want everything will be, I want everything clean. I want everything clear and I want everything perfect. But when I study English, of course, when I was a child, I 
studied English in school. And because I am I'm from a, a na yes, a little province. Yes, it's not in Ho Chi Minh City. So we didn't have many like American accent English teacher in my hometown. Oh, yeah. So when I studied English at school, when I was young, the teacher even she didn't have she didn't have American accent. So I was affected a lot by Tether Yong Dear Fu. But when I, when I moved to Ho Chi Minh City, local and, accent. Yeah, lo, yeah, local accent. Local, local accent. Okay. So, but when I moved to Ho Chi Minh City, and of course, even in university, you have to take English classes so you change just one by one change little by little day by day and that's the way your accent can improve day by day and if you are worried about luxury accent unless you work for american i, I mean the real the pure american so need you need to practice American, the luxury American accent. In fact, there are many foreigners, they don't really have American accent. They just have their own accent, but they um, adjust some word in English because you have um, American English and also British English, right? If you just try to adjust some English word in American way, you can sound like American accent. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I totally, totally, actually, I totally agree with uh, the, the idea you and Messi have, have, have just talked with us. And um, for my opinion, uh, nothing is impossible. Uh, and um, I'm in my, um, my major, my major in English in uh, the high school and after graduation, um, I've lost, I lost the confidence. I don't have a, um, enough confidence when I pay to pay with the, uh, with, uh, with another, with the, the partner opposite to me. And I feel I lost total, I lost totals. And and um, I feel I'm I'm wait of time of money. Uh, I, I'm 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 totally I'm obsessed at this topic. So um, after review uh, after reviewing the um, duration time when I I have a lot of appearance, uh, I try some my best. I want I get to uh, this season. Get to this season. This season to guess all my um, the vocabulary I have just I have just studied in the past, and I try my best to choose in the community to practice to drill, and um, I and now I can um, I I can and now I can communicate with the many many accent uh, like uh, example in Philippines or in uh, India or uh, any in um, even even with the um, even with the American accent uh, and uh, secondly for two for two years ago or for two or more then I um, it's uh, it's very difficult for me to distinguish the British and the um, American accent American accent I. I don't know how to distinguish between them. Uh, and uh, I only have the big dream. Just I, when I see the, uh, when I see the video, when they present their idea on the YouTube, uh, on the TikToks, and I came on, and I try my best to make a, uh, follow them. And uh, uh, day by day, Day by day, I have to try my best to do this, and I did. <laughs> uh, and that's the the important in here is um, uh, keep up, 
keep uh, never give up never give up keep the uh, practicing keep drilling every day drill every day maybe in the in the beginning we have a lot of mistakes a lot of mistakes for me it's very easy it's very uh, easy to mistake between the effort attractive or how to play this word to uh, the suitable play in the in the sentence and um, <clears throat> I and uh, especially when I am um, fail when I fail to fail with the 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 person who have the who has the priority than me who have the up level than me yeah. I lost yes I lost confidence I lost all my confidence and when I feel confident I can do more <laughs> yes yeah. I can do more and I can present present a lot yes and um this is i think uh, nothing is impossible we can uh, um we can do we can do um a lot, do a lot. That, that's ourselves yes i that's understand that. what you said and i totally agreed with your idea because just look at me my english is not good at this time because i haven't used english for a long time just uh, just for these day i just only practice on korean so now when i speak english i have to say that i don't really come i'm not really confident with my english at this time but when i listen to what you're talking just little by little i feel like my english is rising again <laughs> like it, my english is getting up just before it just slipped but now it is getting up and i change a lot in my accent can you you can hear that i change a lot in my accent so if you want to practice everything i i mean everything not one thing just two things everything if you want to be professional you need to practice every day just like vietnamese when you yeah, for for me in my case when i was in philippines i didn't use vietnamese a lot because at that time my i i was very determined to practice my english to Uh, improve my English, especially my accent. So I didn't use my Vietnamese a lot when I was in Philippines. Even I didn't call my parents or my friends or my family in at that time. So when I came back here, I can say that I forgot some Vietnamese some Vietnamese words. But when I went when I went back to work. I forgot some Vietnamese. So if you just working on something every day, every day, you will stick with it. Can you understand? <laughs> yes. So if you just think, and there is one thing that I want to share that for me, I feel that I'm successful in, list, in learning some language when when i dream in that language for example when i study english hard and i dreamed in english i mean in my dream i speak i speak english in my dream even in my dream and if and before when i studied korean i and i was really interested in studying korean i even dreamed in korean So it decide it decide that you're successful in learning some language. So if you guys have ever dreamed in English, you're successful. I can say that you're successful if you can dream in English. In your dream, you can speak English with someone else, some stranger, even in your dream. Mm -hmm. That's your successful. Just um, feel congratulations for yourself because yes, you spend so much. Yes. I admire your voice, your voice too much. I um, I feel that I can. I feel your voice have the 
deeply, deeply intonations and deeply very, um, how to say that, is a very uh, attract, that's very attract the Albion voice. Yes, your voice, your voice have the, in, your intonation, your intonation loud and uh, high, up and down, up and down is very, Yes, uh, yes, I, I came on to listen. This is the first time was I came on to listen to your voice. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, before my voice is really yes, I really think high. you have a lot of time for, for us with the in your uh, yes, in your yes. and uh, in the family. Yes, we have to uh, the have to the real our pronunciation from the belly. It's only not in our the tongues and the mouth. But uh, it's not only, but also in our, the breath from the Pauli. Yes. You know why? <laughs> because Vietnamese, Vietnamese language, when you speak to foreigner, they, when, my, when I speak to my foreign friend, they also say that your mother language is very high tone. Yes. That's the reason we, why yes. we... Yes, we only, yeah. most of us speak English in high tone because my our Vietnamese is speaking in high tone. Yes, so we when have I, to we have to degree one tone. Yes, and yeah. also we are ladies. Yes, our voice is higher than male. Yes. So when I speak English, I mm -hmm. honestly I can't speak English for a long time, very long time. Because if I keep speaking English for a long time, I can't breathe. Because the, the, the air is stuck here. Yes. But I try to low my voice. So I try to low my, the air from the lungs. Mm. So it will be hard. Yes, you can open. Yes. Yeah, if I practice the, uh, the, the moving of the mouth, how to move in, of the mouth, how to move in the tongue. Yes, and um, I uh, have just paid attention. Uh, have paid attention by enjoyed the um, pronunciation course recently because uh, I evaluate I evaluate how to pronunciation correctly. Be yes. and if uh, we uh, know that. The vocabulary that voice but we tell them how to pronunciation this will you fail so i try my best to endorse the pronunciations the course seriously so that's i got this i got this and i am um, uh for for a long time ago i um i i, I i'm not so rewarding i'm not rewarding this is the, the course for learning because I uh, appreciate the vocabulary, the vocabulary more. I think okay. if we all the vocabularies in my mind, we can't say anything. Mm. <laughs> uh, but uh, if you want, if, uh, if we, and uh, now, and, and now I change, I change my mind. If, uh, if you want to another know you uh, in particular in um, you know you in uh, and evaluate you master you professional you have to chorus as as soon as possible yeah. but actually when you speak for everyone to understand you need to combine many factors. Vocabularies, of course, if you don't have vocabulary, you can't explain anything for everyone else to understand. But you don't need to have a variety of vocabularies. Like when you speak in Vietnam, when you speak in Vietnamese, just you can explain in this way or not that way or every mm -hmm. single way to use just some, just a little words, but your confidence matters. Yes. If you're not confident, even you can mm. think about that vocabulary, but you're afraid to speak it right, uh, to speak it wrong. Mm. You can't speak it. 
Mm. And if you speak it right or if you speak it wrong, the order will realize and yes. guess your mistake. Yes. But I can say that your grammar is very good, happy. Yes. You're very good. You're very professional in grammar. So just try to adjust your tone, your voice, your accent just a little. Don't mm. worry. You're good. You're already good. <laughs> don't do, don't try, don't pressure yourself. Just mm. take it easy. Life changes. Yes. Hello, may I ask a question? Mm, so you said that uh, when you go to the yes. Interruption, interruption, connection. Yes. Then you feel like you have the license. So could you, sh I'm sorry. Yeah. Again, it's yes. too crowded. Yes. Because it's too crowded here. So many people here. <laughs> so the connection is very weak yeah. today. Uh, yeah, so I was asking Willow. Uh, yeah. Willow said that when, before she came to the Philippines, right? She went to the Philippines. She yeah. practiced by herself. Uh, that's, that's good. But then it's like you are driving in the highway with their license. And then when you are in the Philippines, you learn properly, right? You study the course properly. Then you feel like you are confident now because you hold the license in your hand. So what does it mean license here? And what did you learn in the Philippines to make you feel more proper, more professional, more confident? Yes, actually when I was taking American accent training, uh, there are many rules to adjust your accent from normal English to American English. So be, like before when I when I haven't I, when I hadn't taken the AAT test, I just speak I just spoke English naturally. Like when I watch the movie and I remember that word, how they speak that word in American way, I just remember that way. But after I take after I took the AAT training, I how do you know some uh, way to apply to every English word to change it from normal English to American English? For example, before I just uh, shadowing, like, yeah, like when you don't have any classy, you just shadowing. And if you come to the word that you <laughs> met or you heard before you know how to say it but you when you come to the new word you don't know how to say it in american way but after you have taught by teacher and you have license and you have classes you have some uh, uh, rules to yeah you have the rule the general rule to make from normal english to American English and maybe your American English will be more broader, broader, yeah, more wider. And you have more vocabulary like that. Mm. So Willow, can you share some techniques like um, to form, right? Transform yes. from normal English to American accent? Yeah, uh, there are two uh, popular techniques to change from normal English to American English. The, the first thing is to change the letter T to letter D. For example, when you say writing is normal English, but if you want to sound more like American English, you just change from letter T to letter D and it becomes writing, writing. Instead of saying writing, it's just normal English. But if you say writing, it changed from letter D to letter D. It becomes more American accent, more American English. And that, that's the first 
technique and that's the most popular technique that you can hear in American accent. And the second one is you change the letter A, A, letter A to air. For example, like when you say N, N, N. If in British English, they will say more clearer letter A, like A, A. But in American English, you can say N, like that. And when you say the letter N is a little cuter, in, in a, a little cuter way, and it sounds more American English. I think there are many techniques, but the most, the the the, the two more most popular, yeah, techniques is changing letter T to letter D, and changing letter A or A to A. So, Willow, do you have any advice for those who have problem in practicing intonation? Like they speaks too flat, too flat, no intonation. Mm, I only have one advice that you need to sing a lot. <laughs> you need to sing more because when you want to have up and down, of course, it sounds like a music. It sounds like you have any some rhythm in your speaking. So you need to sing more or you need to try to like singing. Okay, guys, I would like to share with you. I don't know if you know her. Do you know Rachel English? Yes, I know her. Yes, I know. Did you practice following her? Okay, so if you practice like Rachel, you can see she, she teaching you how to practice American accent because she's American by movies, right? Can you hear or not? We can't hear. Can okay. Mm. So you see, Okay, American English is very difficult <laughs> when it comes to movies, right? Before, I can understand everyone, but when I watch movie, that couldn't understand anything. Yeah, why? Yeah, so this is the problem. This is the problems we can understand our teachers. We can understand our friends, but no movies, no news. Yeah, because this is... This is real American <laughs> because your teachers, they slow down. They slow down to explain for the students to understand. And your friends, maybe they come from uh, other countries, not native countries. And um, maybe also um, they know that you cannot understand when it's very fast, when they speak fast, so they slow down. This is the reason why you understand your teachers, you understand your friends, everyone, but you cannot understand news and movies. Okay, so Rachel, she explains us everything, you know? So if you really, really, really want to understand uh, movies and speaks like American, then I highly recommend Rachel's English because she analyzed, you know, analyzed she give you the full analysis, everything about American accent in this analysis. For example, here.
So this is, you see, this is the stress. Stress. Yeah. Okay, this is stress. So she's paused many times. So, so for example, years up, right? Years up, then link. Oh, sorry. So you will see at the end, I'm sorry, my connection is too weak, but you can see at the end of the video, right? You can see. Cái đoạn này mình nói tiếng Việt nha, tại vì cái chữ T cái âm T trong tiếng Anh đó, nó rất là đặc biệt đối với dòng Mỹ, đối với American accent thì cái T nó rất là đặc biệt. Thật ra ngày xưa lúc mà trước khi mình đi dạy á, mình không có biết, mình chỉ nói thôi, mình biết nó là lúc nào T nó biến thành D, à, lúc nào T nó flat, ừ, nó nó flat T tức là nó nó bị nó bị chồng lên nhau á. Ví dụ cái này, thirty, 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 thirty nó được gọi là flat T. À, đó là flat T là nó biết thành âm âm đờ đó, đó gọi là flat T. Còn cái mà citation, right? Citation thì cái thờ này nó biết là âm chu T, đó là T thì chứ không phải là flat. Mọi người hiểu không? Không phải là cái âm T nào trong tiếng Anh cũng biến thành âm D hết đâu. Âm T nó chỉ biến thành âm D khi mà nó nằm giữa hai nguyên âm. Chẳng hạn mọi người thấy chữ thirty, right? Nó sẽ là âm ơ và âm i. Cho nên là cái T này nó biến thành âm flat T, nó biến thành âm D. À, nhưng mà còn trong cái citi, citation, citation, như vậy cái T này nó đâu có nằm giữa hai cái, uh, uh, sorry, citation, oh, cái này là two T, citation. À, tại sao nó là two, nó là two T ở đây, nó không phải là citation, right? Nó không phải là citation. Đó, thì đã phân tích rất là kỹ luôn ha là cái âm nào nhấn nè cái âm nào được uh, biến thành âm uh, âm âm xua sao ha âm yếu trong tiếng anh nè chỗ nào linh nè chỗ nào là cái âm mất là âm r nè cái nào là âm sờ rồi họ nuốt âm chỗ nào ha có những chỗ rõ ràng cái chữ như vậy nhưng mà nó bị nuốt mất âm đi à bây giờ mọi người thấy chữ này ha À, đây là hai nguyên âm mình rất là quen trong cái việc là mình nối à, cái này là nó gọi là liaison đúng không Willow? Dạ đúng nối rồi. âm đúng không? Nó gọi là liaison liaison trong tiếng Anh đó đó là nghệ thuật nối âm thì hồi giờ mình chỉ nghĩ là nối nguyên phụ âm với nguyên âm thôi tức là thời years up, thời years up, đúng không? Nhưng mà không thật ra là nó nối tất cả luôn nguyên âm cũng nối với nhau ví dụ trong trường hợp này nó là three enemy tại vì á, nếu mà three ha enemy mà mình thấy một cái khoảng cách ở đây three uh, three enemy three enemy thì khi mà nó y và e thì tự nhiên ở giữa cái y và e nó có một cái khoảng cách thì người mỹ họ đọc rất là nhanh thì nó biến thành âm giờ luôn à, tức là three en three en three en luôn ha. Từ hai cái âm cái nguyên âm đi với nhau thì biến thành âm giờ three enemy Three enemy. À, đó là lý do mà tại sao mình biết hai cái từ này three và từ enemy luôn. Nhưng mà khi người Mỹ nói trong phim mình không nghe được. Three enemy. Đó là three enemy. Three enemy. À, ví dụ như cái đờ, tại sao người Việt mình nói đờ 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 chỗ nào cũng đờ đờ hết, à, nhưng mà người Mỹ là những cái chỗ này không quan trọng, mà nuốt luôn cái chữ này luôn, à, nuốt nuốt luôn cái chữ đờ này luôn, 
cho nên là in a in a in a in a có toàn là in a thôi chứ không phải là in the đó in a in a Okay, so she has many. Many analysis like this, many videos. Yeah, And so she knows what she's doing. Yeah, she knows very well what she's doing. Is everyone still here? Yeah, still here. Like, yes. God, my connection is too bad. My connection is too bad today. Okay, guys. So if you really, really keen on practicing American accent, I highly recommend. Okay. Uh, this is the analysis of the movies, but if you you don't know what is liaison, you don't know what is linking. She has a lot of videos teaching linking uh, consonants to consonants, consonants to vowels, vowels to vowels, lots of things, details. I'm still, I'm still here, year. no problem. Mm, it's very slow. It's too slow, right? Yes. Mm, yeah. Yeah, so if you have any questions about American accent, yeah, go to Rachel's. She has all the answers for you. Yeah, all the answers. And if you pick only one video, you know, one scene in the movie and you practice, you analyze, you know, you practice analyzing, and then you practice only one video like that for one month, then you can see the difference in your accent. Just one video for one month, and then you can shadow. So now like happy you are shadowing, right? You are shadowing, but you yes, are not sure one. if you are, but you are not sure that you are making it correctly or not. You are not sure about the cells, about the vowels, the consonants, about linking. You're not sure yet. Then you can go and analyze, copy the way she does it. Analyze, analyze the, the speech and then shadow. Yeah. So you have one more step yeah. before shadowing. You analyze everything, how American speaks. Because yes. movies, movies are real. It's real English. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. yes. So, and especially your job, you work on movies, right? You work on some movies and uh, uh, journalism, so uh, transcripts. So this is perfect for you, movie, yeah. yeah. Uh, put one more step before shadowing, analyze, yeah, analyze everything, and then now copy, copy, yeah. So do you have any more questions for Willow? Uh, I think that's enough for us today. A lot of questions to her. 
<laughs> uh, there are many so so many questions but i'm willing to share my uh, english uh, journey yeah english practice journey but if you have any question just ask me just feel free to ask me because many people care about learning english study english in philippines right or just just now today there are many people want to change their um, their english to american accent i think it's a trend like trendy <laughs> kind of trendy so if you want to practice american accent just follow the technique that miss messi have advised you just pick one or more american movies sentence a more more american song more american uh, part and practice day by day just even in one month yeah maybe not not even in one not in one month even in one week if you're really hard on speaking practicing you can be american i think so yes <laughs> my honor is very thankful for your sharing today and messi have the have the on the messi have the world she have the, a lot of secret to tell with us <laughs> she had a I lot think, of treasures she had a lot of treasures <laughs> the thing is i i never use these treasures <laughs> <laughs> I I do it for my students. They ask me, and I need to fight, you know. But I never I never do it. <laughs> That's why I need to kidnap someone like Willow to go and share. <laughs> anyway, and, anyway, uh, we can um, absorb a lot of um, valuable lesson from the, to the, tonight. And mm, hope see uh, yes yes hope to see you or see Willow. In the next, in the in the in the next, as soon as possible, mm -hmm. next time okay. in the near, yes. in the near future. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I keen on your voice once more. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> happy? Uh, are you happy today tonight? Yes, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> are you satisfied? Are you satisfied? Did you did you find your answers? Yeah. Mm. I think uh, that's it. <laughs> mm -hmm, that's enough. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Willow, for sharing um, your uh, precious experiences to us. Yes. Thanks again for your precious time, and I really hope you can cooperate with us in the future to help the community uh, to help uh, to uh, answer their worries and also. Uh, lead them on the way of conquering English. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Good night, yes. Awesome everyone. You. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, all of you. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Love thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Good night. Good night, Good night everyone. Good night. <laughs>